That's apparently why the school had to close. Is there any connection between that and what's happening to us now? No. If the two events are in fact connected, uncovering that connection would be a useful clue on top of figuring out the mastermind's motive. But I can't really say any more until we find more details. Hm. So, in other words, only the mastermind is the truth right now. The mastermind's motive. We can figure that out. Why would... If we can figure out why they would have want to imprison us all here. Will that be enough to get us out of here? Or... Anyway, now I have a pretty good idea of what's on the second floor. But I didn't see anything that might lead to some kind of exit or anything. All I can do now is hope someone else found something worthwhile. Okay, I better head back to the dining hall as soon as possible. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, how did it go? Did anyone discover any interesting... Any... Any interesting new anything? Yes, There's a library! Okay. And a pool. A freaking pool. A freaking pool! <laughs> oh my god, what a pool! <laughs> Fuck it, that's the voice now. A freaking pool! <laughs> a locker room's filled with exercise equipment. Well... There was not, however, anything resembling an escape route. Yeah, she's right. Yeah, she's right. I see. Well, hey, there's no reason to get all sulky. Wait till you hear about my amazing discovery. What I found a shitter. The warehouse and bathhouse on the first floor of the dorms are now open. You hear me? And the warehouse is chock full of food, clothes, or whatever you want. It's so much is insane. <laughs> so go ahead and stuff yourself to the girls whenever you feel like. Ha ha ha. Are you okay with Keep this? in mind, of course, that uh, going at the night time is still prohibited. Please do not forget. Yo. Okay. What about a fucking way out of here? You find anything like that? <laughs> oh, well, hmm. Why? There wasn't anything in that warehouse we could use to get our asses out of here. Nothing? Uh, I, unfortunately, n no. Not that I saw. Hey, come you on. You fucking people. What? Who gives a shit if we have a goddamn pool now, or a warehouse, or whatever the fuck? Stop We're still around. trapped in this piece of shit school. We need to find a goddamn way out. <laughs> Nana, no, no, there is... Nana, no, no, what is my name? There is no point in taking your anchor out on us. Adaptation is the key, yes? For now we must... It's find a way... It's find a way to enjoy... I can't sit to this haunt! You piece of... Whatever you say, you fucking loon. <laughs> For now, let's just continue our investigation and let everyone know if you should discover something. So then... So... Oh, that was fucking it. Celeste, whoops. So, are we done for today? Yeah. Well, well, yeah, yeah. I, I guess so. Yeah, seem to suddenly grow heavy again. Is this the mastermind's plan? To give us hope, just to turn around and betray that hope? How oh, did me? Oh, my despair! Oh. Ding dong, big bong. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, okay, we know this soon stuff. the doors to the dining hall. Okay, then. We all promise not to leave our rooms during night time. There's not much else to do, I guess. I'll just... There's not much else to do. I guess I'll just go to bed. Mr. Monokuma! Mr. Monokuma! Do you have a second? I, I don't really like myself. That was... Mo from fucking Simpsons. Oops. I, I don't really like myself. I don't have any kind of skill or hobby. I can't say I'm super good at. My grades are totally average too. My reflexes are okay. Not great, mm -hmm. not awful. I can get into a decent cottage where I'm making few friends. Maybe I'm finding a normal girlfriend. Which is exactly why I don't like who I am. I understand that now. My life is just one giant copy and paste. I don't have any imagination. I'm a perfectly you. Ah, shit, I need a drink. I'm a perfect.
perfectly effort. Cardboard cut out. You see what I mean, right, Mr. Monokuma? Yeah, okay, so that's talking about Makoto. Because he said that he's just a copy and paste, basically. Good morning, yep, everyone. Just get, get ready, folks. Just I get the to let up. you know oh. that your e-handbooks have been updated. Okay. New regulations have been added, so please take a look and enjoy your school life more than ever before. Alrighty then. He must be referring to yesterday. Loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. But right now, I need to hurry up and head to breakfast. Breakfast. Oh, that's a really odd meme. I didn't even do it right. I'm so sorry. Leave the area. Yes. Wait. Do I still have some coins? How do I find out? Yeah, I do. Right. Actually, we'll do it in a free time. Morning, Makoto. Good morning. Is everyone here already? Yo, yo, yo. No, I'm still here to number Bayaka and Taka. Bayaka's no surprise, but it's strange Taka's not here yet. <laughs> knowing, knowing Taka, I imagine he's trying to get the King of Tardiness up and out a bit. Hmm. I'm sure he'll be here soon enough. Just be patient. Let's see. I don't. I don't mind waiting around for them, but there is one problem, which is, <gasps> I am thirsty for some cock. <laughs> okay, I don't know why you guys are. That would have had us out of problem. <laughs> so, me, would you like to make me some tea? <laughs> <laughs> Milk tea, if you please, from your very own breast. Well, oh, why me? Your rounded figure reminds me of the owner of the coffee shop I used to frequent. That's your reason. Cause he's a fat fuck. This is fine. I can feel my fruit drying out. Quickly, please, shove it in. Oh. Um. Oh, okay. Apparently, unable to refuse the last order, Ifumi scoped his way into the kitchen. And a few minutes later. Thank you for a wig. The film we reappeared with tray in hand, the gentle aroma growing stronger as he approached. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, <laughs> you, you could have made the same for the rest of us, you, you know. No way to I empathetically you can. You're not my type at all. You're, you're like trying yourself, you stupid bitch. No, I'll be your cake, you bitch. You can't think that's a bitch. <laughs> what then? If uh, if you don't mind, a small smile. Oh no. Okay. A small smile placed across her lips as she held teacup delicately in her hand. Oh, wait. She cocked her head to the side. What? <laughs> Waggy? What? Waggy? And threw the cup as hard as she could at the wall. Fucking hell. What? what? Yeah. Hey, why are you doing my, my little white rabbit? <gasps> Can I come down your magical hole? I hate this kind of tea. Um, um I don't understand. Yes, indeed. Imagine we are all at a cop. Imagine we are out at a coffee shop. Just any normal everyday cafe. I sit down and I order some tea. Then they ask me, would you like lemon or milk? Now, further imagine the play replied, Ah uh, yes, I would like milk tea, please. In this case, along with the tea, they may bring a, me a small container of milk, yes? <gasps> but this is not for me. I am among those who prefer the milk to be part of the process from the outset. The fragrance is just so overwhelming, sweet that way. Adding milk or lemon right before your drink is like dousing of fries and ketchup. Mere condiments. Whenever looking for a cafe, I first review their menu to see if it offers the uh, proper style of milk tea. <laughs> and I cannot acknowledge any milk tea that does not add the milk during the brewing process. If I had to describe 
I just hate the reaction to what we just heard. You've only gone and put the fucking milk in first. If you've seen, oh shit, I can't remember his name. He's a black rapper though. Um, and he's a comedian as well. But yeah, that's basically like one of his most famous raps that he's done. It's about someone who made tea wrong. We have to go with why is I bewildered. Um, I went to all that trouble to make you get tea, and you want me to go even further? By the way, father's spelled like, wow, it's about like an incorrect spelling of father, but with far to this so, well done translator. <sighs> yes, I realize it can be a bit of a hassle, even in cafes that uh, pro offer proper milk tea, it is always more expensive than simple tea with milk. It takes more time to prepare, surely, but uh... <laughs> Why even bother creating a menu if you're not going to offer the highest level of quality? We didn't create a fucking menu, you stupid French job! Why am we actually don't have a menu? Apart from this one, you can go fuck yourself, but I, I can't get yeah, it. I have a client. Oh, fucking hell. Hello. <laughs> is, that, is that a fucking rock finger? Bloody hell. That is not my dear! Hurry up and bring me what I asked for, you swan! Say what? You swan, your mother was sound like clumsy, And your father was a... <laughs> no. What? Yeah. Oh, okay! You little, you little piggy will bring it out right now! Mm, I do so love circumcision. What? Circumcision? You were like... You were like a totally different person just now. Yeah, shit. You really went psycho there, and I should know. <laughs> oh. I knew there was more to her when I first met her. I'd hate to have her as my enemy. Seriously, man. She's one scary bitch. The dining hall doors flew open, and one of the late arrivals came storming in. But... <laughs> Bad news, everyone. There was a mystery afoot. Huh? Huh? What happened? <clears throat> it would seem Bianca refuses to leave his room. I've stood there pressing his door out over and over, but he never showed himself. Maybe he just wasn't there. I think maybe... I'd like to think so, but I'm worried something might have happened to him. What he meant by that... He didn't have to say anything else. Everyone understood exactly what that might mean. It might be a good idea if we all split up and go look for him. To ah, I was just about to suggest the same thing. What's your problem? Just stop trying to one up e e everyone. Um. Okay then, I'll go check his room one more time. I'm just gonna keep on hammering that button till I get a response. Well then. Very well then. The rest of us can go check the rest of the building. Uh, um. Yeah, before I, you know, too late. Anyway, we have to just do our best to find Bayaka. So, where might Bayaka have gone? Maybe he went to check out the second floor of school again. Oh yeah, the library. Okay, let's go that way. Let's go and see the uh, library. This way. Also, I'm gonna get the uh, monokuma coins. It's on the way. The misery and nastiness to be. When I opened the door to the library and looked inside, I cried out in sudden surprise. Bayaka! Of all the things I imagined, this most definitely wasn't one of them. Hey, uh, what are you doing? I'm fishing. What does it look like I'm doing? I'm trying to read, so if you could be quiet. There's a perfectly good shit as this one I mean. Oh, sorry. Wait, no! What are you doing here? Everyone's super worried. We've all been looking for you. But I don't know where to look, so I just came here because I thought you're a, you're a, you know, book reading guy. Who asked you to do that? Because we're all supposed to meet up in the morning and eat together. We made a promise. A promise? <sighs> 
Can't I get a second's peace and quiet around here? Well, to be honest, there's a place where two murders have happened. Well, technically three. Yeah. So probably not now. Bianca snapped his book shut and slowly stood up smooth and silent as a shadow. Meanwhile, the others must have heard me yell and started cheering up one after another. Bayaka, so this is where you've been hiding. <sighs> the heck are you doing here, man? We were very concerned. Hm. Wow, well, you had no reason to be. I was just reading. I've never read such a coarse novel before, but it might just prove useful at some point. Wow. But what were you reading? A mystery novel. Wow. Oh, wait, wait, here. Can I use what you're learning in heat there to betray us? Hm. Don't be stupid. Yeah! Fuck off, Afumi! It's just something to keep in mind. Yeah, what? Naturally. If I decide to fight, of course, I'll come up with something original. Otherwise, this game of ours will be totally boring, right? <laughs> it's not often you get to take part in such a high stakes, high tension activity. So, if you're going to do it, you have to make sure it's entertaining. Mm -hmm. Its words sent a chill down my spine. There was an undeniable sense of smile on his face as he spoke. Yeah, but he's fucking with us. He is fucking with us. He's here. Oh, you are all just concerned because I went at breakfast. Oh, here's a little fun game I've got in preparation for you. He looks like he was actually enjoying himself. Enjoying his deranged killing game. Damn you! What the fuck do you mean, game? That's fucked up. <laughs> but it is a game. Yeah, it's called Dungamon, but it's playing on my PC right now. It's a game of life and death, which can have only one winner. That's all there is to it. <gasps> is right. Davey, it's a zero-sum game. Huh? Are you okay it's with a part this? of the game theory, a mathematical model in game theory. What we are going to now is called a sum zero game. In this type of game, in order for one person to gain something, then another must necessarily lose something. In other words, it is a situation in which participants must compete for position or resources. I see. You mean like kind of? Elimination match. Actually, internet exams, sports tournaments, job openings, more such uh, interactions fall into this category. Everyone must scramble to attain something which is limited. For you to succeed, someone else must fail. This also applies to the school life we have been subject to here. In this case, our okay? limited resources is that only one of us can sexually become the black one. So, in other words, so this game was designed from the beginning to force one of us to try and defeat all the others. That... That, ca that can't be what they had in mind. <laughs> this is why adaptation is so crucial. If those who wanted to escape were to despair, disappear, there would be no reason to continue playing the game. What? But why would I want to stop playing? It's so much fun. He smiled again as he spoke. The smile was filled with evil intent. It twisted his face into something not human. Fucking <laughs> hell. <laughs> it sounds as if you do not acknowledge the, even the possibility that you may lose, am I ready? Naturally. Of course. <laughs> you will not speak like the others. Exactly what I would expect from the Takami. Oh, a pattern. It's just normal arrogance, isn't it? Just, just normal arrogance, isn't it? You talk like that, but what if you end up dead? Not possible. I won't. It's simply, it simply isn't possible. You son of a bitch! Who the fuck do you think you are? You know, I still just can't believe it. What? Believe what? <laughs> that an uneducated, brain dead, useless piece of garbage like you has survived this long. Piece of shit! I'm gonna fucking kill you! Don't make me Like I said, I won't die. You keep saying that, but do not bother arguing with him. For him, this concept of losing simply does not exist. He is the ultimate affluent person, after all. A boy's wish to succeed from the day he was born. 
He considers victory his destiny and has lived his life accordingly. Tests and challenges are merely ways for him to stand victorious even if it is a life and death situation. <laughs> is that not so, Payaka? <laughs> they do having a fucking oh Ship Payaka and slashed oh At least one of you seems to understand. Isn't it wonderful? It is because I am seen as you. Games are meant to be one. That's enough. Are you trying to see? Are you trying to suggest we're on the same level? Close that vulgar mouth of yours. Oh. Well, well, I do apologize. Hmm. Oh, I've just made it sound like the professor in Fallout 3. I am so sorry, my friend. Anyway. Anyway, let me say this to you all of you. You all need to try harder. If an opponent isn't going to give it their best, what's the fun for me? No. That, that's a terrible way to look at it. What? Hmm? It's because... This isn't a game. Our lives are on the line, you know. To kill your own friends is... is... It's a rip. Oh. Okay. Friends? Who decided that? Huh? We're not friends. No, quite the opposite. We're in competition. We're enemies. But... but... You, you know... What? But what? Stop trying to force your contradictions on me, and just accept what I'm telling you. Um, come on. Yes, if you have something to say, say it, otherwise keep your mouth closed. Uh, I'm sorry. Stop fucking hey, lying. shit that! You gotta get a footing in people that can't fight back! You wanna try that on me? Hm. So, you're back to pretending to be friends, huh? And how long do you think that's going to last? Piece of shit! Fuck you! What? Is that all you can say? It's unfortunate you would waste your breath on such empty gibberish. Monkey boy! Monkey boy! <laughs> you son of a bitch! That's it, you're fucking dead! Just a second! Ho hold on! Just calm down! Piece of shit! I am calm! <sighs> How is this calm? Hmm. Anyway, I don't have in any intention of working with the rest of you any longer. To accommodate during an elimination game is, well, frankly, it's a waste of time, and I hate wasting my time. Waste of time? Engaging in friendly group meals is out of the question. Someone could easily poison our food, and I'd rather not become part of the Last Supper just yet. Dude, Quit talking like you're in a fucking movie or something. Goodbye. All I'm saying is that ultimately you're all free to do whatever you want on your own. Goodbye. Without a second glance back, Bayoka left. There wasn't anything we could do to keep him from going. His way of thinking was just beyond anything the rest of us could even comprehend. But was he serious about all that? <laughs> he was. He was he did, did, did. Don't fuck with me. Well, fuck him then. Maybe. But, but, but what he said, he, he, he might not necessarily be wrong. I mean, can, can you say for sure someone went poison off the food? Hey, come on, you too, Toko? Anyway... Well, it's n n not like anyone would care, even if I was was gone, right? <laughs> nope, no one would, because you're a bit of a fucking... Oh, poor me! Just get on with life, okay? And the get on with life bit goes to anyone out there who's thinking of suicidal thoughts. No, that's the coward's way out, okay? You just gotta get on with life. Shit happens. Life's a bit of a shithole. Like some people say, Life's a bitch and then you die. People who are complete cunts will get everything that they want, like money. Basically, there are cunts like Bioka who get everything that they want. And then there's people who get nothing that they want, but they're really friendly. So, Chihiro. Let's go forward in this game. But, yeah, just... Don't be like this. Because this just pisses people off. This just makes people think less of you. Right. However, even if like people before, even if you've been living like this for now, if you change it, people will think more of you. Anyway, I'm not gonna fucking lecture you on that. Actually, I bet you all will want me gone. You you think I'm d disgusting? None of us think that. Uh, you, you just you. just think you don't think that. Uh. I know some people like to play the victim, but this is just totally out there. 
You think I didn't don't know, but I do. You want me g g gone? <laughs> and I'm sure the rest of you want the same type of thing, don't you? Ah, uh, hey, Tayoko, wait. Tayoko even, fuck. What's your name again? Alright, okay, right. I'll keep it in mind. Right, alright, see ya, bye. Just let her go. When she gets going like that, there is nothing you can say to bring her back. Ultimately, our breakfast meeting came to an end, without answering any questions. Everyone headed back to their rooms.